Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some tests on this Sudas uh, Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Burner that I bought on eBay. It's a knockoff of the Evernew Titanium Alcohol Stove. I thought I was done with the uh, tests on this. And I got a request from Kevin Bradley. He said, Hiram, can you do a boil test with the Sudas on the click stand? Uh, I've had a bunch of requests for uh, dimensions and things to compare on the, the different kind of Trangia stands. So I thought, what the heck, might as well do this. Now, um, I showed you in the Trangia triangle that this didn't fit in. It fell right through. But on this one, it has a different kind of a holder on here. And it does kind of fit. It's very easy to rock it, but it won't go through. But if you put it on there just right, you can make it set flat. So I'm going to do a test with this using 30 milliliters of methanol in the burner and take one milliliter out and put it in a primer pan that I'm going to light and then put kind of off center underneath the burner so that the flames will come up, heat up the alcohol, and hopefully light the burner to get the uh, the blossom a little bit faster. So let me get some water prep, get some alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got two cups of water that was at 60 degrees. It's down to 59 because that there we go, it's back to 60. 30 milliliters of uh, methanol in the stove. I took one milliliter out, put it in a short primer pan. Put the stove on top of that. Let's go to the other camera. Hopefully you can still see it. Now you can't see too much on this click stand, but there the flames are coming up the side, heating up the alcohol somewhat. Okay, a couple of the jets are trying to go. Okay, I think you can see them trying to take off. Now the thing with primer pans is it's alcohol that's heating up the stove but it's not being wasted if you can put the pan on top of it right away. Okay, so we've got the uh, Sudas is to bloom here. And we're already up to 77 degrees, so let's see what this does for boiling. We're now a little bit past the two minute mark. The temperature is already up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Apparently this is a, a bit warmer of a stove. It works pretty good. So, nice flames coming out. I think you can see them there. So let's see how long this takes to get to a boil. Here we have 210. 211, 212 in 6 minutes 3 seconds. Okay, let's see how long it takes for a run out now. Okay, the flames are going. All the jets are gone. All that's burning is the uh, center cavity. That's going. Uh, hanging in there. Oop, just went out at 10.02. 10.02. Okay. Interesting. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 58 degrees Fahrenheit, 11.4 degrees centigrade. Again, all this stuff will be down below. Humidity 45, cloudy and breezy out. Um, did I say two cups of water, 60 degrees? Yep. 15.5 degrees centigrade. 30 milliliters of methanol in the stove, one milliliter taken out and put in the primer pan. I know I'm going to get people asking me to do this test again with uh, starting the flame in here, but just trying it out on this. So it does fit. It does seem to work. It was interesting with the stove being uh, open like this, when the jets started dying down, the... Uh, lower outer jets were getting real small and then you could see the jets on the top burning for 
I don't know, 20, 30 seconds after the bottom one started going out. Then the top jets went out. Um, when they went out, then all it was was burning in the cavity here. So these jets kind of died out first. Then these took over, you know, small jets, but they were still there and then in there. Interesting. So that was two cups of water boils, 603, and then it ran for four more minutes to uh, 10 minutes, two seconds. So I hope that helps Kevin Bradley. Um, I thank him for his comment, his request. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.